In Australia, scientists are trying to increase marsupial numbers using artificial insemination, or AI. They've started with koalas because they're easy to handle and breed well. They hope to perfect the methods to help rare marsupials in the wild, like Grimpy, the hairy-nosed wombat. So how do you do AI? Well, first you have to collect some sperm. And to do that, you go to the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Brisbane. What you're witnessing here is the courtship behavior of Australia's national icon, the koala. This here is Titan, and he's marking his territory there with his scent gland because he's been put in with the girls. If he plays his cards right, today could be his lucky day. Koalas are normally quiet creatures, but things are about to change. Titan has to go in and excite the females. Only then will keep a pool know if any of them are ready to mate. They want to collect Titan's sperm. The problem is, at the moment, he's really taking his time. If you don't perform, he's getting you're back old. in the boys' dorm. Yeah, I think he's getting old. We, we do have another male, it? younger male here who might do it the happens, job. It happens, doesn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Well, he is a bit younger. Paul has yes. to introduce yes. what's called a teaser male. Oh, Liam? <laughs> Who is it? Liam. Liam. All right, Liam. So we'll just show Liam face to face. So we know she's in. She's definitely carrying on. He's interested. So can Liam get the girls going? <laughs> With young, hot-blooded Liam displaying, the enclosure reaches fever pitch. Head bobbing, bellowing, and scent marking. <laughs> Meanwhile, Titan just sits back and waits. Finally, one of the females is ready. But sorry, Liam, it's Titan's sperm they want. But remember, this is artificial insemination, so his sperm has to be collected. Steve Johnston has pioneered this technique. This is where the science comes into it. Well, it's not too much science. It's basically just collecting some sperm from the male and getting in between him and her. So you're the awful person that, at the crucial moment, nips in there? Absolutely. The koalas seem to have no idea their nuptials are about to be interrupted. Steve gets in between them to collect Titan sperm in a device made partly from the top end of a cricket bat. He thinks completely that it's a female that he's doing the job on. Next coming, here we go. Poor Wendy is just getting bitten. She's not having much well, fun here at all. That's a very normal mating behaviour in koalas. I mean, and that'll stabilise the female while he uh, inseminates her. So that's perfectly normal. So and there we are. We've got our sperm sample. Yeah, that's probably all we need to, to do. That's probably enough. Have a look at it's it. It's finally time to artificially inseminate one of the females called Beta. The process is painless. The sperm is simply squirted into beta. If the AI is a success, in 35 days' time, a tiny baby koala will make its way into beta's pouch. The team will be one step closer to helping rare marsupials like Grimpy.